I want to turn it over to Bill. He'll tell us what happened when he went into the hotel today. Bill Mott. Thank you, Lenny. First I got a promotion, then I got a demotion, but I'm really glad to be here. I want to thank all of you for being here. And the boycott sign, boycott, it means a lot. It's got a real history from Gandhi to Martin Luther King to Cesar Chavez. And what makes a boycott work is not the sign, but the people behind it and the persistence. Every boycott that has been successful has been successful because we outlasted them. And the Playa's decision to reopen without recognizing a union contract that was held here for 40 years. 40 years, La Playa was known not only as one of the best destinations in the world, but as a place that respected its workers through recognition of a union contract. And I know there's a number of, form how many former La Playa workers? Raise your hands. So this is more than a building, it's more than a hotel. It used to be a community member. And they've made the decision in this transition to renovate the inside, to raise the prices, and to try to draw even higher clientele in terms of their ability to pay $400 a night. But in that transition, they made the calculus not to recognize the union. So um, we, just, we just went in and, and tried to present these signatures of community people asking La Playa to keep the 40-year tradition of this being a union house, a union hotel, a hotel where the clients and the guests pick up on that energy that's shared between management and workforce that's one of pride, one of cooperation, one of collaboration. They decided to throw that out. We sought to present this. Uh, the manager respectfully declined to receive it. She said, please send it to corporate headquarters in Phoenix. Boom. Boom. But that says it all. There is not anyone here with the authority to accept a petition from the community. It's only somebody holding a position who will direct any question, any petition, any overture from the community to corporate headquarters. And so we either have to sensitize corporate headquarters, and maybe one way we do that is by making sure every prospective guest, when they go to a website for La Playa, they're going to find other websites around it saying boycott La Playa. When they walk up this sidewalk, they're going to find peaceful, respectful, boycotters handing them an information sheet as to why they should not patronize this until they recognize the family that built this. So the family continues to grow. We lost the contract temporarily, but the family that was in-house is now a family that is uniting with community. And we're here as community to say your family has grown and it will continue to grow until La Playa's new owners recognize the way they become community partners, the way they get us to send our friends and relatives to patronize, whether it's the hotel or the bar or banquets, is by recognizing our family. So let's hear it for our family. Let's hear it for the union. <laughs> <laughs>